Hi besties, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Jazz. If you're new here, hello, welcome. Today we are doing something so exciting, okay? It is the official commencement. Here, right now, you are here to witness it. The official commencement of Vlogmas. It is my first year doing Vlogmas. I am super excited, but I'm also kind of nervous because I'm like, I, I'm not the type of person that has a whole bunch of like, you know, like dedication, but I want to. I want to have dedication for this. I want to do a little Vlogmas season with you guys and be posting every day. I gotta take my little vitamin. I just ate. And these let me take low gummies. They're so good. Like they actually do deep bloat me. I don't even know how that works. So here's how this Vlogmas here on my channel is gonna work. We're gonna do 12 days of Vlogmas. Kind of like you know, 12 days of Christmas, 12 days of Vlogmas. Starting now up until, I believe, Christmas Eve, I will have a new video up every single day. Along with having a new video up every one of those days, along with having a new video up every single day, I will also have a new giveaway up every single day. So I'm doing 12 days of Vlogmas, also 12 days of giveaway. So if you head over to my Instagram, I will post on there on my Instagram, in my feed and on my story every single day. I'll post one of the new giveaway days. It'll be a bundle just for you guys, full, filled with like a ton of good goodies that I think you guys are gonna love. I will make sure that the rules are set here and on Instagram. I'll post like a little like infographic on it because I wanna make sure that the rules are very clear for entering the giveaway. But if you watch the YouTube, you do get an advantage because entering here is really it's the priority I want people that are watching my YouTube videos and entering here on YouTube to win the goodies for sure so I will be picking a ton of people from the comments here again I will post them I'll make sure probably in the description or I'll post it like as a little picture here on YouTube to make sure that you know exactly what the rules are I'm so excited the first thing I have to do is actually go through the giveaway I have to make a little Canva like graphic so my whole idea is to like Make it like an advent calendar. I know it's so like corny, but I feel like that's just so cute. Like a little advent calendar of each day of the giveaways and also the vlogmas. Um, so I need to do that. That's more like digital work. I want to make the little rules or whatever. And then I also want to organize all the PR because I want to go ahead and set apart what I'm going to be giving away every single day. So that's what we're going to do now. I have a ton of PR to go through. I save up a lot of my PR. I also give away a lot to my friends and sometimes my family, but I just like, it just gets out of control. Like there's so much PR that I have saved up and I always save it up with you guys in mind. I'm like, I want to do giveaways. I want to give it away to y'all. Definitely definitely have a lot to sort through even things that like i wanted to keep i'm like i'd rather not keep it like i would honestly rather do a giveaway with them so that's what we are gonna do now we're gonna go organize them because it's pretty much gonna take all the rest of the day it is so dark outside but you guys can still see me the lights are on it's so dark outside today because it was gloomy i don't know why just decided to get super dark hey guys this is a general kind of overview of what we're working with a big bag here these baskets filled to the brim with stuff i originally had pr just in these two and then i started getting so much that i just put in this random bag and then in this like basket over here and then i have more just like literally here <laughs> that i just unboxed so we gotta organize that as well Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get started because I have a lot to sort through and I'm gonna try and finish this by tonight because I want everything to start going live tomorrow. But basically, I'm gonna go through every single item. I'm gonna separate it into four piles. So the first pile is gonna be women's donation. That's gonna be stuff that I feel like my followers really won't like. Like, like I know, I know what you guys, I put myself in your shoes and I'm like, what would I like? Like in my giveaway, which, which items would I want in there? So stuff like that or stuff that my friends or family just probably wouldn't use either. It's going to go in the woman's donation pile. And then I'm going to make a separate pile for my friends and family because this Christmas, I just want to bring a bunch of gifts to everybody. So I want to make sure I have a good stack for that too. And then the third stack is going to be the giveaway stack. And... That'll be it pretty much. So only three sets. I am gonna do my best to not keep anything. I really don't need anything. So I'm like, 
sometimes I'm so annoying because I'll be going through it and I'll be like, wait, but I like. But then I'll set it aside and then I realize that I didn't use it for like two weeks, two months. And then I'm like, actually, let me put this back in the donation pile because I'm not using this. Like, I think I just tend to almost be a hoarder, which is not good. Don't be like me. Anyways, we're going to try and finish because this young gentleman um, doesn't like what I'm doing, apparently. Why don't you like what I'm doing? Oh, you're just so cute. Oh my god, I can't help it. So, let's get started. I'll check back in once I'm like halfway through. Maybe. If I even get there tonight. I hope I do. So I already have some stuff set aside for the giveaway, but this is kind of like, I'm gonna show y'all like my mentality and how I'm picking stuff. So I have these two palettes and I just don't think my followers would really enjoy this or would even like want this that bad. So this will probably just go in the donations pile or my friends and family pile because I have a few aunties that would really love this. So I think I'm going to put it in here for now. But then I have like these Charlotte Tilbury items. This is the Glowgasm Beauty Wand. And this is the flawless filter. So I'm going to add it in this pile because I do think my followers would really, really like this. Along with this like little eyeshadow pot. So like I also have these nails and I have this like Fenty Beauty like cream I think this is. I think this is, yeah, a whipped oil body cream. I think this is pretty popular. I've seen people talk about this. So I think my followers would enjoy this a lot. So I'm going to put that aside as well. And I think... I honestly think my followers would enjoy the nails, but I don't add too many nails either. Then I have this like Michael Kors perfume. I also don't think my followers would really enjoy this, so I'm also going to put this in the friends and family pile. And then I have some Locutane products. I honestly don't know anybody who would enjoy these. Um, I don't know too much about Locutane. I know they have a beautiful hand cream. I really like their hand cream, but I don't know anything about these products, so I'm just going to put them in the donation pile. Then like here's another Fenty cream and I'm debating like should I really throw in both of these for like a giveaway? I think I should. I'm going to leave it there for now. Then I have Redken Acidic Bonding Concentrate line. I actually really really like this line and if I like it I know one of my followers would enjoy this too. So I'm going to keep this and like give it away as a set because whoever gets this as a set you will love this. That's kind of my mentality when I'm going through all of this. Obviously, nothing is set in stone. Like, I'm not gonna, like... Like, once I put it in one pile, I'm not gonna be like, it's staying in there. Like, I'll probably be deciding as I go. But, like, for example, here's a Neutrogena, like, foundation. I just don't really see my followers wanting this or, like, using it and liking it. So, I mean, I, they sent me, like, a whole pack of these. I think... Like, ideally, I would want to give this away to friends and family, but because there's so many shades, and I don't know everybody's shade, it's kind of complicated because, I don't know, I'm like, this should just go in the donations pile, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to set these aside, and anything that has to do with, like, different shades and, like, tones and stuff, because it might be helpful to let people just pick out what they want. I have random stuff, like, the little, like, things you put on your, on your sleeve here. I don't think this is going in any pile. I think I'll probably just keep these or whatever. Then I have Murad... Like, honestly, this basket is not the good stuff. So I'm going to come back once I have some good stuff. All right, guys, here's our new pile. This one, this one's pretty big. This one has all the good stuff. I remember, like, selectively putting the good stuff in here. So I have a whole bunch of Redken stuff. They send me this, these things, like, every, like, couple of months. And I just, I haven't even gone through my first one yet. So I'm setting these aside because I'm going to give away all of these. Why are y'all fighting? Okay, we have this Sunday Riley Serum, which I've actually never used before. Don't know if it's good, but I know it's popular, so I'm putting this in the giveaway pile. Then we have Fenty. We have the sunscreen. I'm not sure if this is just a sunscreen or the refill. Oh, this is, this is the actual sunscreen, so I really do like this one. I don't use it often, but I do like it, so I'm going to put this in the giveaway pile. Really good stuff in here, okay, guys? We have some YSL stuff, and honestly, I'm going to throw in more YSL things because I have it in my closet, but we're gonna throw in all of this YSL stuff into the giveaway pile. I have a Morphe setting mist, more Redken, more YSL, more Fenty. I also have Gizu, 
The hair oils, these are really good. I have Naturium, I love Naturium. Skincare is so good. Too Faced, a lot of Too Faced actually. I have some more Charlotte Tilbury. So we're just gonna go through all of this and sort this pile out as well. Okay, you guys, we have made a ton of progress. Okay, so over here, I have a pile of stuff that I want to give to friends and family. And then over here, I have everything that I want to give away for the giveaway. Look at how many, look at how much good stuff there is in here. Okay, we have Milk, we have Tower 28, we have Kylie Cosmetics, we have Charlotte Tilbury, we have Lancome, we have Fenty, Naturium, Olaplex, Pharmacy, let's see, Say Beauty, Too Faced, Road. I think you guys are really going to like this giveaway, okay? Then over here... This is my pile. It's really not that much stuff. It kind of looks like it is because of this big box. Like this big box in here, but it's just a couple of stuff that I haven't tried. Like this is the first PR package I've gotten from Dibs that I want to try. I love Cordelie and oh, hair ties. I love these hair ties. They're so good for my hair. Um, but yeah, this is my, my box. Okay, I think the only problem that I'm facing right now is that I don't really have anywhere to put all this stuff. Like, obviously, I had them all in, like, baskets, but there's literally no point in throwing them all into baskets again because then i'd have to organize and lay everything out again this is a good way like the way everything is laid out like i have like charlotte tilbury like red can like it's a good way of me being able to see what's available that way i can make the giveaways as even as possible but i also don't want to like have everything laying out here because i think mostly because i need this space like it's my only counter space and also my cat's my cats are insane. They will just start knocking stuff over. So what I need to do is I think I'm going to leave everything here for now and run to Target tomorrow and buy like smaller versions of these bins. Maybe like half the size. I'm literally going to have to buy like 12. 12 of those bins. And make different like bins like lay them all out and then throw in different stuff into each bin. That way everything's organized. I can even like stack the bins at the end. Still, I think I'm just gonna wait to do this until tomorrow because at the end of the day, it's like organizing all of these things meticulously right now. It's gonna take me hours. Okay, so I decided I'm just gonna wait until tomorrow because it's already dark, it's rainy outside. I don't think I wanna go to Target right now. Um, and I'm gonna do this with a clear head tomorrow, organize everything into be it would be 10 different piles. 10 different piles because on the last two days of the giveaway, I'm gonna be giving away something really good. Something so good that like the rest of the stuff just doesn't even matter. You guys make sure to tune in because what I'm gonna be giving away. Honestly, I'm so excited. I'll just give you a clue is I have both of them and I love them both and I use them a lot in my videos. So it'll be something good. Um, but yeah, the rest of the stuff, I'm gonna organize it tomorrow. So make sure to tune in tomorrow to watch me organize this a little bit more. So later today, I will be posting the rules of the giveaway along with like some more deets on the Vlogmas. Honestly, there's no more deets besides that every day there will be a new vlog and with that vlog will come a new giveaway day. So I'm very excited. Make sure to have your notifications on for the giveaways for Instagram, all of that. And yeah, I'm gonna finish doing some stuff here, do some stuff for the rest of the day. And I will be back once it is time to get ready for bed, okay? About time of the night to call it a night. It's about time of the day to call it a night is a better thing to say. We're gonna do a little night routine together because I feel like we haven't done one together here on my channel in a while. And my morning routines, to be honest, they've gotten more extensive, but so have my nighttime routines because I'm really trying to be on my healthy girl wave. On my schedule, like, I'm, re I'm really trying to get there. So I'm like, let's focus. Let's have a good nighttime routine. I also just have like, a lot of stuff to do tomorrow so i really need to be on my game no more messing around okay no more putting off my responsibilities for the next day or the next day like i really really need to be on my game and hopefully honestly hopefully like this vlogmas starts to like keep me accountable and really set schedule because i'm really bad at that like my schedule is literally like the worst i just like i love having my own schedule schedule and working at my own pace but then at the same time i'm like sometimes i don't wake up until like one which i know is so embarrassing and i hope i'm not being judged this is a safe space okay I wake up at like one and then i'm like 
Where did the day go? And then I put off my responsibilities for the next day. It's just no more of that. No more. But you know, like around this time when the sun literally sets at like 5 p.m. Excuse me. It is literally dark at 5 p.m. Um, so I'm going to start getting ready at like 6 because what am I going to do? It is literally dark. What am I going to do? You know, I actually love to work from bed though. So sometimes I'll just be like, sometimes I'll just be in my PJs. It's 7, 8 p.m. I'll be in bed. But like I'll be working from bed and I feel like that's just more my vibe than like staying dressed and staying like, I don't know, just like working, like actually fully working until like nine. That's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. When I was in college, I actually used to do the exact same thing. Like once the sun set at like 6, 5 p.m., I would just get in bed in my PJs and then just do homework from bed and then just call it a night later that night. I'm just one of those people that when around this time, like the winter season, when like it gets darker quicker and it's cold outside, I am the type of person that just like hibernates. Like I'm, I'm, I'm in my hibernation era, okay? Because it's cold and it is dark outside. So what am I going to do? I'm going to get in bed. As I stated before, this is my first year doing Vlogmas, so I am really nervous. I almost didn't want to do it, not because it's like too much work or like, I think it's because it's too much of a commitment. And I already know I'm the type of person that like, I will commit to doing something one day. Like I'll be like, okay, by Tuesday, this has to be done. And then I'll go a whole month and I'll be like, oh my God, I haven't done it. I actually haven't done it. It is, it's bad. Like I'm the type of person that, mm, Soap just got in my mouth. I'm just a person that like, if it has to get done, it will get done. But if it doesn't, and it's something that I can keep putting off, and it's something that really only I am in charge or responsible for, and like no one is waiting for me, then like, mm, I'm gonna put it off for a while. Don't be like me. Be better, please. Okay, so this is what I used to double cleanse today. I used my Fresh Glow Sunflower Cleansing Oil. And then I used the Youth to the People cleanser. This thing is like $50. That's a lot for a cleanser. I don't know if I would recommend it because of the price point. It's like $56, I'm pretty sure. It's the type of thing where I'm like, look, this one is also really good. I'm pretty sure this one's less than $20, La Roche Posay. You can get this at Target. At the end of the day, a cleanser is gonna go down the drain. So I'm like, I don't know if I can justify $50 for a cleanser, but to each their own, if you can afford it, it is great. Now for our essence, we're gonna use the Glazing Milk by Rode. I have literally been obsessed with this product since the first time I put it on my face. Look at the way my face or my skin looks right now. It looks kind of like, what's the word? Lackluster, maybe like very dry. Um, I don't know, it just looks like whatever. Okay, I'm gonna put a few drops of this essence. It's very, very like thick and milky, which I love. I'm a big essence girl because I have very like dehydrated and dry skin. And look at the way it just brings it back to life. Like my skin feels better, it looks better. And all I did was use that one product. Honestly, I would say this is bordering like serum territory. Like I know it's an essence, but it's definitely very close to a serum because of how moisturizing and like on the thicker side it is, so. Okay, for our serum today, I'm going to use this Murad Retinol Youth Renewal Serum. This is the retinol that I've been using lately. I have a lot, I have a lot of retinols in here actually, but I really like this one. This is the first retinol product that I ever tried and like introduced my skin to retinol. And also it's gentle and it's effective. Like I've definitely seen a difference in my skin using this. So I love it. I'm almost done with this bottle and I was like, I may as well finish it. Lately I'm like, I need to finish more products. I need to stop like using them and then halfway being like, um, I'm gonna try something else. Like I need to, I need to start like finishing my products. Those worry wrinkles up here, jeez. I have not had any work done. I think I've said this before on my channel. I've never had like Botox done, lip filler done, nothing like that. Um, Naturally, like the space that I'm in, so many like TikTokers, influencers, Instagram people, um, beauty influencers have like Botox, filler. They've had some sort of work done. And I've always like, I don't know, like I try to not let it get to me. And most of the time, like, it really doesn't like I think about it and I'm like I'm only 24 like I don't think I want to get any work done maybe we down the line once I actually start seeing like like wrinkles but even then I'm not really like afraid of wrinkles like 
it's a natural aging process and I think some people look so much better when they just age gracefully like instead of trying to stop the aging pr process by like getting a bunch of work done if you just let yourself age naturally you just age more gracefully if that makes sense I'm gonna go on with this serum on top I love this Coco Kind Ceramide Barrier Serum this is like probably like my 12th bottle of this that's how good it is. Anyways, you can probably think of somebody that's gotten work done that you're like, why? Why did you do that? To me, uh, or for me, it's Courtney Cox, Monica from Friends. I'm like, she was so beautiful. She was literally so stunning. I was like, I wonder how she's going to look when she's older, like when I used to watch her on Friends, because I'm like, she was just like beautiful to me. And I don't know what road she started going down. She's still a beautiful woman, but I'm like, I just, I would have loved to see her just age naturally. You know, like, then at the end of the day, like, you do you, you do you. I'm not really judging anybody that's gotten work done, but it's hard to not let it affect my own perception when like, that's all I see around me, if that makes sense. So yeah, I, I don't know, sometimes I'm like, should I? Like my friend got baby Botox like up here. Um, granted she is a little bit older than me, but I'm like, should I? Like, is that a thing that I should be doing? I don't know. Now I'm using this Pharmacy Honey Halo Moisturizer. This is like my fourth tub of this. I got obsessed with this like last year. Never went back. This is an amazing moisturizer. One of the reasons why I'm probably developing worry wrinkles or stress wrinkles is because you guys, let me tell you what I've been dealing with lately, okay? When we moved in, we had the worst, like, noisiest upstairs neighbors. Like, the worst. They had a kid that would just, like, run around. And I'm pretty sure they had a dog as well. Like, a heavy, big dog. Because I could also hear the dog running around. Granted, I do have really good hearing. One thing about me, if y'all didn't know this, I have really good eyesight and really good hearing. I don't even know how because, like, I listen to music very loudly. I'm always on my phone or, like, an electronic. So, it's going to catch up to me. But as of now, I have really good hearing so i can pretty much hear everything that's going on upstairs and i'm like what is that for months i was like i'm gonna write them a letter i'm gonna write them a note and i'm gonna be like shut up turns out that i was right one of our upstairs like neighbors across from us was like oh yeah like it was a whole family but they basically like skipped town or moved out or something so the noise had stopped and i was like thank you jesus thank you jesus i can finally sleep in peace it's like the universe is like you thought, girl, you thought. Because then our next door neighbor, which he was really like I've seen him in the hall. I don't know I don't know how many people live in there. I've only seen one guy come out of there once. But I thought he was really cool. Like he just seemed chill and never made any noise. Then all of a sudden, the past like I wanna say the past month now, every once in a while I would hear like a bass. Like a really loud bass as if somebody is playing some loud music, okay? But that was only every every once in a while and it was during the day, so it never bothered me. And I was just like, I mean, as long as you keep that to yourself at the most appropriate hours, I don't really care. Like I'm not honestly you could even play it at like eleven or midnight because most of the time I'm awake at that time anyways. But do not take the piss and then play it at like two AM. By the way, I used the pharmacy wake up honey eye cream. It's the same one, the same brand as, as this one. I don't really believe in eye creams, but I know I should start using them because you can see these bags. I don't feel like anything really works. There is one eye cream that I actually really love, and it's this totally, like, I don't know how to pronounce this. This one's really good. I actually do see a difference with this one, both immediately and over time. However, however, it is very expensive, and it is this little ass tube, and it's very expensive, so... I don't know. Anyways, I've been hearing this guy play the bass. First, it started off at like 7 a.m., 8 a.m. And I was like, that's kind of annoying because like, I know a lot of people are already waking up at that time. I'm not, I am not. I am a, I am a night owl, which means I sleep, I go to sleep late and then I wake up a little bit later than everybody else. This happened several nights to the point where it was just starting to wake me up every night, every, well, I would say every morning now, it's not even night. Every morning it would just wake me up and I'm like, oh my God, it's driving me insane. Then he started playing it at like midnight. Then he started playing it at 5.30 in the morning. Now that, I feel like that's justified. Like it is 5.30 in the morning, sir. 
So we went to, we went like downstairs to the front desk and we were like, hey, like somebody's playing like really, really loud music. Um, you can't really hear the music, but you can feel the bass. Like that was the problem is that because our walls, the wall that I sleep on, like my bed is, a, my bed is like attached to the wall that's, that I'm sharing with him. So like I can literally like, you, I would try to just cover my ears, turn up the Google, but it's like, I could feel the boom. Boom, boom, boom. And I'm like, oh my god. Like, it was starting to drive me insane. I know it sounds like I'm being dramatic, but you guys, like, once, like, something starts affecting your sleep like that, and it's, like, a really naggy sound like that, or something just really naggy, it's like, what the heck? I was literally going insane. We moved a mattress to the living room, and we slept out there one night, and I slept decent, but I was like, this is my apartment that I pay rent for. I shouldn't have to sleep in the living room. Like, so we went down to the front desk again and told them, and they said that they called him, and that he was like, I haven't been in the apartment for days. Lies a lie i could hear it like through his door so i'm like i feel like i'm being gaslit right now like everybody's telling me like you're crazy i don't know what you're talking about my fiance kind of started hearing it but at the beginning like he just could not hear it and even when he can hear it like it doesn't wake him up like it wakes me up it's been waking me up every single night so that's what i've been going through that's why i got these wrinkles okay i've been literally like kind of sleep deprived and stressed out the other night, I woke up at 5.30, went to the hall in my pajamas like a crazy lady and was like, do I hear it? Even if I do hear it, like, the front desk is not open at that time, so it's not like they can catch him. So I felt, I'm feeling kind of stuck. Like, I just went over to the living room and slept on the couch, kind of fall asleep, of course. Lost precious hours of sleep. My aura ring score has, they've been tremendously low because I haven't gone good amount of sleep. I topped everything off with the rosehip oil from Fresco, just right on top. Very glowy, very like blocks in all that moisture. But yeah, I was also scared to start Vlogmas because of that reason. I know it sounds kind of like dumb, but like if I'm not getting my, my good amount of sleep and I have to sleep in until two or three every day because this guy starts playing his music at 5.30 and I can't go back to sleep until nine, it's like, it just throws off my whole schedule and I'm like, how am I going to do Vlogmas when I can barely like function and do my day-to-day -day tasks? Um, so yeah, that was very stressful, but my fiance bought me earplugs, which I have never used in my whole life. They literally work. I didn't think they worked, but they do work. Um, so I think that has actually stopped like me, that stopped me from hearing the bass. I can feel it a little bit, but I don't hear it that much, which helps me to not wake up. But like if I do wake up, sometimes I, I can still feel it, but it's like very faint. I don't know. I've been feeling like crazy. Like I'm like, I don't know what's going on. I don't, for a whole day, I walked around this apartment like, I can hear it. I can hear the bass. It's like, I think I'm traumatized. I think I'm literally traumatized. Okay, so my skincare is done. I did a blot on my hair yesterday, you guys. Look at this. Look at this. What is this? I don't even know what this is anymore. My hair is so annoying because when I used to complain about this stuff to my mom when I was little, she'd be like, you have to be appreciative to God. You have to thank God for giving you hair. And I'm like, I do. I mean, I am appreciative. But like, I feel like I have the most annoying hair type because it's wavy. And if I try and straighten it or curl it or whatever, it just doesn't hold the style. I'm like, every day I have to fix it. So like at this point, I'm giving up. I'm giving up. I was putting in a clip calling it a night. Let's clean up a little bit because I don't like to get into bed when everything's all like messy. My bathroom needs a little bit of cleaning up, so let's do that together. Okay, I cleaned up for a little bit, um, made sure my space is ready for bed. And I think we're probably just gonna watch a movie tonight, probably just stay in, watch a little movie. Actually, I don't know why I'm saying staying in like that's news, like going out was an option because it was not. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna call it a night, watch a little movie, but I hope you guys enjoyed part one of 12 vlogmas, 12 part vlogmas, okay? Come back tomorrow, same time, same time tomorrow, okay, bye!